Hello Internet, welcome to another NS2 learning tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to understand the structure of Evalvid. Uh, as you know, Evalvid is one such framework which is used to perform simulations on multimedia traffic. And in this particular tutorial, I'll discuss about various files especially executable files which are provided by the evaluate framework that helps in the execution of the simulation for multimedia traffic and when i talk about multimedia it is specifically um, mpg4 So I'm going to I'm going to be using Fedora system in VirtualBox and in this system I have Evalvid already integrated. Now if you open up this folder you'll find Evalvid 2.7 now I'm going to specifically talk about five different files one is etmp4 the other one is psnr.exe another one is mp4 trace and I've got two files ffmpeg and mp4 box uh, all right now you can see a few executable files here in this folder and i'll change the view here also And you can see a few executable files here also now the first file that I'd like to discuss is ffmpeg.exe it is the encoder for mpeg4 files it encodes the raw yuv file to m4v format uh, and at the receiver end it is going to decode it, it can be used to decode uh, an mp4 into yuv file so this is the most essential component <coughs> while evaluating mpg4 traffic uh, you can see uh, the link in the description for an extended definition of this executable and you can check out my other video where I perform the uh, calculation of PSNR on MPG4 traffic but here in this video I particularly want to uh, highlight these executable files and their functions another file that I want to discuss is etmp4 now this uh, this is again a file which is used at the receiver end and as the name suggests it it is used to evaluate traces of mp4 files at the receiver for for the ip and b frame losses and the next file is psnr now you need to uh, pass on the input yuv file and the output yuv file uh, which is uh, obtained by etmp4 
to psnr.exe to to give us the peak signal to noise ratio at the receiver and again a very useful executable then the next one is mp4 trace now this this executable uh, gives you a file which has the info of each frame of the video and it will be used as the NS2 as a traffic source. Now mm, simply put you can uh, understand it as <coughs> as the format is to for example if you have if you have a YUV file or an MP4 file, um, we'll need to convert that file by using MP4 trace into into a into a format in which the information of each frame of the video is is specified in such a way that uh, it can be used by NS2 as a traffic source. So um, those were the few files that I wanted to discuss and you can explore more executables in, in the framework of uh, Evaluate as and when you'll use it, uh, e you'll encounter uh, different executable files while evaluating different performance parameters so you can, you can search the theory about that and uh, if you'd like to install this version of Evalvid on Fedora then you can check out the link in the description and another video where I where I tell how you can install Fedora on on a Windows machine and then perform multimedia experiments on NS2 I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching this have a good day and a good life. Bye.